welcome to JG's Fight Talk, sponsored by Rich's Boxing and Limitless Creations. And with me now, I've got Reese Barlow. How you doing, Reese? Yeah, good. To meet you. Yeah, really good. As uh, yeah, is that the little one in the background? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the other two have gone downstairs playing. So, <laughs> mate, it's it's always the way. It's always the way. You will have that one time a day where you've got to go live, and everyone else starts talking. Yeah, it, it'll see what's happening as soon as he comes over. He, uh, it, it'll go quiet. He won't know what to do. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, Reese, it's a pleasure to have you on, mate. And um, pleasure to be on, Bob. Yeah, what what start you've had? Wembley Arena, on the card of Joyce versus Taka, <laughs> your debut. <laughs> that's to, that's some debut, mate. Got to meet some icons. Do you know what I mean? Uh, people have watched from before I was fighting. I got to meet them and. It meant a lot, um, but just being there was was a massive, massive like achievement and an experience, really. So, yeah, <laughs> I had to take the opportunity when it was there. Yeah, yeah. So if we hit rewind for people that don't know who you are, when did it all start for you? When did you sort of first start boxing? Oh, well, um, I started uh, when I was quite young. I'm going to say 10, 11, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think me, uh, I was I was a bit naughty, and I think me, me dad had had enough of it. So um, he took me to a, he took me to a gym in in Radcliffe in like Berryway, and um, I, I was training with with Aidy Lewis, um, ex Commonwealth champion, and uh, yeah, it was just it, it, soon as soon as I was in there, I, I enjoyed it. Um, proper discipline gym, and um, I think that's what me me dad wanted more than anything else. Sorry, dogs, get off. Um, <laughs> sorry, mate. Uh, yeah, this is the so biggest challenge was... you've got, mate. This is the biggest challenge yeah. you've got. You've done your debut. Yes. Now you've got to fight off the kids and the dog. <laughs> yeah, mate, my family, family's mad, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I was quite young and I was I was playing rugby and uh, rugby kind of took took priority at the time. Yeah. Um, obviously, as a kid, I, I was with my mates and I was enjoying it and then, um, fast forward a few years to my late teens, and um, I was a bit bent out of shape. I was I was overweight, unhealthy. Um, I, I'd enjoyed life a little bit too much, I think. Um, so I got onto a few charity fights, unlicensed. Um, just I, I was just doing it for a bit of fun. Yeah. And um, it was it was someone at one of the shows said, you, "You're all right at this." Do you know what I mean? Like, you're doing well. Didn't think too much of it. And then um, I started doing a bit of strongman uh, weightlifting. And, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and I got to about 23 stone, um, <laughs> which which was a lot. I mean, I was, I was disgusting. I didn't stop sweating. That's a couple, but... <laughs> that's a couple of me, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a couple of me now. Yeah, um, yeah so... Yeah, and then uh, I got in touch with with uh, Curtis Gigano, my uh, my manager, and uh, I just said, "Look, uh, can I come down and see what I can do? Like, I I, I like that. I love the sport, and I want to, want to take it serious. Want to do something with it? Yeah. So, um, yeah, to so come down, see what you like, and um, yeah, that was December, but uh, just gone. And by the fe- by by February, I I pro- I think I'd proved that. I wanted it. I weren't just there for for losing a bit of weight or getting fit. I, I, I wanted something out of it. Mm. So, um, yeah, he gave me a contract and here we, yeah, are. They, here we are today, yeah. We, uh, Blimey, well, we, I, 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 a bit blessed, to be honest, because, I mean, coming from unlicensed and, and training as and when I wanted and raising a bit of money for charity to Wembley Arena, it's... Um, Something else, I oh, think. Mate, like... Everyone does it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it, yeah. <laughs> Seen it done before. Just yeah, it it's, done. Just, it's just what happens <laughs> these days, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, Reese, I, I think that's class, mate. That, that takes a lot of guts as well to go from the unlicensed scene, you know, go, going further back, you know, be, being overweight and having the drive to, to do that. And, and to want something from the sport when the sport is a gruelling sport it's a hard sport and, and and you've taken it and you've taken it to the to a, a high level straight away 
you know, you might not have got the result you wanted, but what a learning, what a learning experience. Do you know, the thing is, I said, I said to Curtis um, when we got there, I was, I was really, I was more nervous about the weighing. You know, I don't know why. I think it was just at, like, do you know what I mean? Do, should, should I be here? Should, do you know what I mean? Like, get the dad bod out and show everyone like we've got cameras <laughs> and attention. And um, yeah, I was, I was, I was fairly nervous about the weighing. Um, and to be fair, if it worked for Curtis, like after it, he said, "Joe, you, know you did well. You, you, you did well. Like if you first one, you done well there." And I thought. So it's a weigh-in. But, um, and then come fight night, it was, I don't know, I think, because I, I put it in my head that pressure's not on me, it's on it's on my opponent. Yeah. So I, I was quite relaxed. I come out quite relaxed. And um, I had a few few away fighters um, that I'd never met before. And Joe, you know they, they was all proper proper gentlemen. Do you know what I mean? Like the, the, the I learned a bit off them about uh, prep, you know, uh, before you fight. And, I met, like I say, I met, I met some top, top people. And um, I mean, we, we even bumped into Julius Francis, um, ex heavyweight uh, champion. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't have a clue who we were when I first seen him, but it was Curtis. He was like, yeah, is it, it's Julius. I was like, oh, no. So <laughs> before, before we fight, I was getting a boxing lesson off Julius Francis. It was, <laughs> it was mad. <laughs> Honestly, mate, and did you did you did you know much about George Fox before going into the fight, or was it kind of? I I heard his name once. Um, someone told me he, he was related to Don Charles. I think it's his dad. Um, and obviously, top respect to Don Charles. He, he he's good at what he does. And um, I went on YouTube and I found one one fight that George Fox had been in, um, and that's all I had to go off. And it was. Probably 18 months, two years, he'd been out the ring. Um, and everyone was going, yeah, he does this, he does this, he does it. And I just said, look, he's had 18 months to change all that. Yeah, yeah. So, top respects to him. He he did his job. Um, and yo, he, he, he was a nice guy. Um, Don Charles is a nice guy. And I've got a lot of, a lot of respect for both of them. So, um, you've got, yeah. <laughs> Hello. You phone up. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. Ah, oh, mate, it's fine. It's fine. Hello, are you alright? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> mate, I tell you, what, I've had I've had kids come on. I've had cats appear from behind curtains, mate. I've had the lot on here, so don't worry about it. Honestly, uh, he, they're at home, he, and it's their home. He, you know Literally, I mean? um, he, he's he's pro he's, he's pro like I know it sounds a bit a bit cheesy, but he's he's proper my number one fan. Like um, obviously the the way the way was recorded, and I sent it to my missus, and my missus shown him, and um, she videoed his reaction. He's just like, oh, my daddy, my daddy. I was uh, there's, there's no better feeling, mate. There's no better feeling, and that oh, definitely not. That's, that's the feeling that will drive you. To, to pushing yourself to do the best that you can, knowing that your little boy's watching you. Of course, of course, yeah. Um, my me, me daughters are saying, like, I mean, my daughters aren't as interested as him, but <laughs> I, <laughs> I tried showing me fighting, one of them turned around and went, all right, and walked off. So. <laughs> <laughs> I just got punched in the head for four rounds, and that's all you've yeah. got to pay. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I pay for your food. <laughs> oh, Reese, mate. Honestly, you've got. You've got a cracking attitude, Reese, and and as you say, to come from where you've come from, you know, losing the weight, cracking on straight into the pro game, I take my hat off to you. It's not an easy job, and um, it's really not. Yeah, I, I, you've you've got the family behind you, and um, that goes a long way, mate. But before I get rid of you, I'm going to pick your brains. Cool. Um, Joshua Usyk coming up, uh, tough. Tough fight. A lot of people have already turned around and gone, oh, it's an AJ win easy. But we're talking Usyk dominated the cruiserweight division, didn't he? Um, I know U come up six. Now, Go on. it's not the same. It, it's the heavyweight world. It's it's kind of AJ Fury world as such. How do you see that one going? Um, like you say, Usyk, he's an animal. He don't, he don't quit. Um, you could probably hit him with a taxi and the taxi would lose <laughs> um, but I think AJ 
I've recently, I think everyone, anyone that follows boxing, follows heavyweight division, has got to admit AJ's changed his style, he's changed his way he performs. He's, um, and it was all, it all come off the back of the Ruiz loss. Yeah. Um, I think he needed that loss at the time. Um, so yeah, I'm going to say AJ wins it, but I don't think it'd be in the early rounds. Um, and that's if, if Usyk's not on his A game, then it, you know what I mean? It, it'll be a knockout AJ. If it, if Usyk is on his A game, it'll still be an AJ win, but it won't be, a, I don't think it'll be a knockout like everyone's expecting. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to be that guy, but. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, um, Fury Wilder. Now, this is oh. the third time we're seeing it. And to, to me, it's one fight too many, in my opinion. Definitely. Um, you know, I think, you know, Fury schooled him in the first one, it's, it's fair to say, and he won it, in my opinion. The second one, he battered him. <laughs> there was no other way to describe it. Yeah, definitely not. The third one, do you think it's necessary, but at the same time, if it does go ahead, who wins it? I, I don't think it's necessary. I really don't. Um, but at the same time, You've got to understand the, the fighting spirit of um, the Fiori family, um, travellers in general. Yeah. Um, they, they wasn't for settling a deal and getting him out of the way. They what the fighting men, and that's what they do. If you want to fight, they're going to fight. Um, at the same time, going back to the, the AJ thing, he lost, he come back better. Is while they're going to do the same thing. Obviously, there's only one way to find out, but I still think Fiori skills anyone in this division at the moment. Um, there's no no two ways about it. He's, he he can move like a middleweight. Do you know what I mean? At, at twenty stone, he can still move like a middleweight, and you, you, you can't you can't hit something that moves that much. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you, Wilder's got them bombs. Wilder coming back different though. Can you see Wilder coming back? Bit I hope he does. Boxing skill, or is he just going to be the I, one trick pony? I hope I hope he does because I want to see an absolute war. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. Um, I want to see an absolute war because um, I think you've you've hyped up a third fight. Better make it a good one because the first two were good. Um, and I think if Fiori comes out and just knocks him out in five, six, seven rounds, it's just a repeat. Yeah, yeah. So I hope he has changed his style and I hope we see something different. I still want Fiori to win though, so. Well, at least, um, at least yeah. we know his water's not going to be spiked and his outfit's not going to be too heavy. <laughs> and his, his trainer's not going to make him quit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he'll, come out in a pair of, he'll come out in a pair of boxers so yeah. his legs aren't knackered. <laughs> <laughs> Swimming trunks and goggles. <laughs> it, wouldn't, it wouldn't shock you in boxing, mate. It wouldn't no, shock you. No, not at the moment. Anything can happen. Uh, um, but... Um, but yeah. when are you when are you hoping to get back now, Reese? When, when so you... um from it from my first fight, I always said my first fight I wanted I weren't bothered if it was on the road, at home, anything. I just wanted the first one out of the way. Um to let the adrenaline and the nerves um settle and then go from there and see how I feel. Um so I've spoke to Curtis and I want to sell tickets now, so I'm gonna be a home home fighter. Um, so we're hoping to get one at end of September. Um, if it's not end of September, it'd be October, um, start middle of October, hopefully. Yeah. Um, but we're going, we have to go, and that's for me, you gotta be ready to fight all year round, and yeah, yeah. so we, we stay ready. And when the phone rings, we get we get even more ready, so yeah, no, definitely, mate. Well, <coughs> keep in touch, and um, definitely. Let me know when fights come up and we'll get you on and have a chat about it and, and wipe up yeah. the fights. Yeah. <laughs> Next time you ring it, it'll just be my son. <laughs> yeah. It'll rob my phone, it'll just be him. It'd be his I'll interview just have, like, time, a selfie, not... a really close up. <laughs> yeah, like this, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just a oh, chin. No. Honestly, <laughs> bless him. Well, love to the family, mate. As I say, they're, oh, they're the drivers. Thank you very much, mate. Appreciate it. And, uh, yeah. Stay in touch, Reese, and uh, I look forward to fight news. And uh, hopefully, you're going to be right about Fury and AJ. 100, percent and then hopefully we see the clash we've all been waiting for. Yeah, if you're wrong, mate, I'm just going to blame you. No, a nice one. <laughs> but 
we've also got we've also got to see something from this. Joe Joyce is coming for the uh, he's the manager for the UCK KJ, so he's got to get out of the way first as well. Yeah. yeah. No, Reese, you're a top bloke, mate, yeah. and I wish you all the best. Thank you for having me on, man. It's been a pleasure. Honestly, mate. And uh, thank you. As I say, next time I phone, I'll just get your son on. To be honest. Yeah. So, yeah. He talks enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Honestly, Reese, thanks for coming on, mate, and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers, mate. Take thank you very much. See you later. Bye bye. 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 There we go, Reese Barlow. He's a top guy. Started his career on the Joyce Takam undercard. What a way to go in. And, uh, you know, the fight didn't go his way, but it was a big learning curve for him. And um, he's going to take a lot from that and move forward. And, uh, yeah, wish him all the best for the future. And a shout out to all of his family. Really, really lovely little boy. So, hello, little man. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch up with him soon. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, uh, head over to YouTube, hit the subscribe button on JG's Fight Talk and check out the rest of the content, and I'll see you all soon. Thank you very much.